ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Watch Addiction Watch Reviews. Today we have a really, really interesting watch on the channel. This is the new Spinnaker Picard watch. Um, kind of a homage or throwback to the original, uh, one of the original Rolex watches, the first Rolex diving watch with that huge crystal that was really big. Um, it's not a homage or anything like that, but it kind of has that idea behind it, I think. Um, anyway, this is the new Spinnaker Picard model retailing at 550 US dollars, I believe. This is the green dial variant. Um, it's quite a big watch uh, for the bigger wrist, I'd say, but it's not as big as their previous their previous release of this model, which was much bigger, uh, definitely much bigger. This one is definitely more wearable. Um, as you can see, we get a nice large crown as well. Um, but yeah, the packaging is pretty simple. It comes in their Spinnaker box with your warranty and all your instruction manual as well. We'll throw up a photo of that. Um, but yeah, their packaging is pretty decent, I'd say. Uh, let's see what's on my wrist today, and then we'll dig deeper into this model. On my wrist today is the Oceanica Thresher watch that's coming to Kickstarter at the, I believe, the end of February. Um, at a very good price, under 300 US dollars. It's a super compressor style watch. I'll take it off so you get a better look at it. Um, yeah, a review of this one will be coming up pretty soon, as you can see here. And it's just a very nice, you know, modest sized watch. I believe it's 40... 39.5 or 40 with a super compressor function, screw down crowns, just a really overall, really, really well made, very nice super compressor style watch. Um, yeah, I think it's just pretty cool. Definitely stay tuned for a full review of this one. Now, as you're watching this video, this watch will be will be released January 18th on their website for sale, so you can check it out. There's always some discount codes, or you can use the code WA20 to save 20% on this model. So you're saving a lot of money from the 550 retail price which is very nice. Now the watch itself is made of solid 316L stainless steel. As you can see, there's a lot of stainless steel that went into this one. Uh, it's completely brushed. Uh, the, I must say the finishing is very, very good on this model. Uh, down from the case to the bracelet, everything is very, very good. Um, you see their new style clasp here as well. I'll get more into the bracelet in a little bit. Um, it's kind of, you might have to deal with the distortion. This is a single domed, highly domed crystal. And the whole point of this watch is to actually see that distortion. It kind of appears like you're underwater, um, I believe, which is pretty cool. But in real life, if you look at it straight, you can definitely read the time. My light is definitely um, refracting off it right now or showing some, yeah. But anyway, uh, try and try and stay calm. Anyway, guys, the watch is 45 millimeters in terms of diameter. It has a thickness of 20 millimeters. That is not including that domed huge sapphire crystal. You get a 22 millimeter lug width here. Uh, which is not that bad. We get a 120 click ceramic bezel in green, which I think the green one is the nicest one. There are a few different variations you can check out on their website. I will drop a link down in the description below. But getting a little closer in on the dial here, you can see the dial is green. It has applied markers which are fully loomed with C3 Super Luminova, Swiss Luminova, um, which is the best kind. Swiss Super Luminova is better than the standard C3. Uh, the loom is very good. I'll get you a loom shot towards the end of the video. We get our lollipop tip seconds hand applied markers. And it does state helium release valve over here on the chapter ring, which is white. The date window over there, uh, if you can see it, um, yeah, the light is refracting off it. But yeah, there is a date cut out, yep, with a matching date window. Anyway, now like I was stating earlier before, this watch is very heavy duty. And there's a reason be behind that. It's 550 meters water resistant. Um, where is it? We get a nice automatic helium escape valve on this side of the case. And the brush finishing is really, really good. Uh, much better than some of their other models, I must say. Um, yeah, you get that automatic helium escape valve. We get our coin edge rotating 120 click dive bezel. Finishing just as good on this side. The crown as well is etched in, if you can see there, with spinnaker. I've never seen that before. That must be something new. Uh, getting to the crown and the movement. So um, the crown is actually pretty large and it kind of matches the largeness of the case and that huge domed sapphire crystal with anti-reflective coating. Um, it's just stick pokes up above there, which is quite crazy. Um, yeah, really crazy. The crown is very easy to grasp and very easy to use. Very solid pop out, feels really good. It feels very high quality. Inside of this one, we're getting the NH35 automatic caliber produced by Seiko. Uh, 24 joules, hand winding, hacking. Uh, about a 42 hour power reserve, 40 hours around there. And the self winding is just really, really smooth. Uh, might be due to the size of the crown, I don't know. But it's really, really smooth and easy to use. One position we can quick set that date, which is actually very legible. 
And then final position is hacking, and we can set the time here. Very, very easy to function this crown. Um, very good crown. Everything is really on point. The bezel itself, with this nice green here, uh, loomed pip as well. No loom over here, but you do get the loomed pip. 120 clicks with absolutely zero back play. Very tooly. Very nice, solid clicks. And everything lines up perfectly to that 12 o'clock position, which is very nice. Heading straight to the bracelet, we get a kind of oyster style bracelet. This one is using pins. Um, it comes with their new clasp here, with their custom clasp, which Spinnaker made themselves, um, which has been introduced on most of their newer models. We get a cutout clasp here. We also do get a dive extension. Uh, one, two, three micro adjustments. And yep, there's that dive extension. So if you want to throw it over a wetsuit, no issue there. Flipping over to the case back, you can see solid end links. You get that nice bath escape drawing, which is pretty cool. Uh, custom raised and molded. Uh, case back is screwed down, brushed with your model number. If you can get a little closer, you can see. Very interesting little drawing of kind of vintage diving. I think it looks pretty cool. 550 meters, sapphire crystal, SP5098, which of course is the model number, which you would see in the description anyway. Um, but yeah, the bracelet's definitely good, you know, good quality. It's finished to a quality that's just as good as the case, which is kind of rare in a lot of watches. So the finishing on the bracelet and the case is definitely equal. Um, but yeah, it's a dive watch. It's 550 meters. You know, it's a 550 meter dive watch with a huge crystal. Um, we definitely need some good loom. So let's check out the loom and see how it is. And there she glows, as you can see. Yes, the loom is very good. Loom at the 12 o'clock triangle is actually very good as well. Um, nice green Swiss Super Luminova. I think the loom is good. You know, it lasts a pretty long time. It's quite potent. And, um, you know, for this price, uh, it should have good loom. So, uh, yeah. At 49 millimeters lug to lug, the watch actually fits my wrist. I was quite surprised by that. Um, it's, <laughs> you know, it's a larger watch. The crystal comes up high, but it's definitely wearable, even from my 6.75 inch wrist, which isn't that big. And you see that crazy distortion. <laughs> you get off that crystal at all different stuff. You can actually use it as a camera if you wanted to, probably. Um, when you're actually just reading the time, looking at it straight on, you can obviously always read the time. Um, so no issue there actually reading the time, but at weird angles, you can see it kind of appears like you're underwater or something, uh, which is actually pretty cool. Um, but yeah, definitely comfortable on the bracelet. No issues there whatsoever. Obviously, it's a thicker watch at 20 mil. Um, but yeah, there are people that like smaller watches, and there are people that like larger watches as well. So you can't discriminate. Furthermore, guys, I think all in all, it's a very well-made watch. Obviously, it's not going to be for everybody. No watches for everybody. Um, you know, it's a watch that kind of throws back to an era, um, you know, where they were testing out dive watches and how deep a watch can go underwater. And Rolex kind of had their thing with that crazy, you know, dive watch with a huge domed uh, crystal, uh, which you can look on Google. It's actually really interesting to read about it. But overall, for this model, it's very well made. Um, it's a very interesting watch. Obviously, it's a watch that's going to look like no other watch in your collection. Um, it's, you know, it has quality components. It's very well made. It's not super overly expensive. Um, everything functions as it should. I think it's a pretty cool watch. Uh, if you're looking for something very different you want in your collection, kind of an oddball watch in the collection that, you know, is very capable of diving as well. If you're a professional diver, obviously this one can go with you anywhere you go. Um, but yeah, definitely a really interesting, different watch uh, from Spinnaker. I wasn't expecting that. But let me know what you guys think down in the comment section below as usual. This is Watch Addiction Watch Views. And as always, you can use WA20 to save 20% on any of Spinnaker's models. They have a lot of watches on their website. Um, smaller watches, larger watches like this as well. And yeah, definitely check them out. I will see you guys in the next video. Let me know what you guys think. Smash that like button, subscribe to the channel, and we'll chat more. Bye.